Hi there, Craig Hocknell here. As you can tell, I'm not in my usual stomping grounds of Park City, Utah or Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm actually here in South Carolina for the 52nd PGA Professional National Championship at the Belfair uh, in, in Bluffton, South Carolina. So what I'm gonna do is do a quick video on how I use my products to help me prepare for this tournament. I've got my Sabre Stroke Trainer. I've got my Sabre Putting Ruler. And obviously I've got my Sabre Golf Putter. This particular putter is the Sabre Hawk, which is the mallet. As you can see, I've got a cool picture of one of my sons on the bottom of the putter. So what I'm gonna do is run through kind of how I set myself up to practice. And that way, when you purchase these products online through sabregolf.com, you can also practice the same way. So I'm just gonna step back over here and show you first how I use the Sabre Putting Ruler. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna do anytime I go to a new golf course is I'm actually gonna use my Sabre Putting Ruler to determine the stimp meter on the greens. So the stimp meter reading is a calculation that's based on how far the ball travels when rolled from a 30 inch mark on a ruler held at 20 degrees. I've done this enough now and I happen to know that this particular mark is 20 degrees. If you want, you can take out your smartphone, set it on top of the ruler, use your angle measuring gauge to measure the angle to get 20. Once you've done it a bunch of times, you'll be able to do it easily like this. This is a 36 inch ruler. So what I'm gonna do is take my golf ball, hold it at the end of the slot on the ruler, and then just release it. As I release it, it's gonna roll out. So the way you measure green speed is you measure from this point on the end of the ruler and you go like this. So this is three feet, right? So three feet, six feet, nine feet, and then about another foot. So right now going up this hill, we actually have it set at about 10 feet on the stem, so that would be 10 on the stem meter. So what I'm gonna do is just set the ruler right here so you can see it again going this way. I'm gonna set the ball on the ruler, release it, let it go. I'll release it a little bit on a different angle. So you see it's going downhill, it's gonna travel way further. So if I measure it all the way again, that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 and a half. So if I was gonna calculate this, what I would do is I would take those two numbers and then divide them by two. So that would be 28 and a half, um, which when you divide it, uh, see that was, yeah, 18 and 10, 28. So you divide that, you get 14. So 14 on the stimp meter is pretty fast, right? So we know here at the Belfair, greens are rolling really fast. So the way you're gonna do this is try to find a little bit more of a level space on the putting green. Don't use as much of an uphill and downhill as I just did. Try to find a level spot and that'll really help you figure out exactly what the green speeds are using your Sabre putting ruler. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is determine the straight uphill putt. And I'm gonna do that exactly the same way. Take my ruler, release that ball. As long as I don't see any curve like I haven't seen here, I know that that's straight uphill. So if I take my ruler, flip it over, now I can begin practicing. So I'm gonna just take my golf ball, set it right on the little hole on the end of this ruler, right here, take my putter, and I flipped it over because on this side it's flat, on the other side it has that notch in it for testing for accuracy on, on greens as well as green speed. So then I'm gonna set up on my ruler, make some putts. So what I like to do is I like to putt off the ruler in one direction, bring the ball back, set it on the other hole, and then cut back down the other way. <coughs> as 
long as I'm getting that golf ball to track up and down that ruler, I feel very confident that I'm putting well, my stroke is fluid. If I feel like my stroke is not quite where it needs to be, that's when I'll take my Sabre stroke trainer. I've got it set right now to match the lie angle of my putter. So I happen to know that it's set at 72 degrees, which is what the lie angle of my putter is also set at. So what you can do with the stroke trainer is just simply set it up. What I like to do when I'm just working on stroke is set the putter in the middle, take my stance, and just really relax my hands and arms and make sure that that putter flows back and forth. I'm almost not holding at all because I want that putter to follow that nice path and that nice track back and forth. Once I've done that, I'll take a golf ball and when I putt with it, I typically will set up my putting ruler right here. I'll set the ball in the front section of the trainer, rest it right up against the stroke trainer and then at the front end that allows me to get a little bit big of a backstroke so that then when I let it go it flows right off the front of the stroke trainer. So as you're working on your stroke you're working on hitting nice fluid relaxed strokes back and forth and then what I like to do is I'll set up my stroke trainer I'll putt from the front end of the stroke trainer with the ruler right beside it parallel. <clears throat> I'll set up, I'll use one stroke guided back and forth like that and I'll come off the stroke trainer and I'll do one stroke back to the trainer like this when it's not guided. And then what I'm doing is I'm able to then work on both an attached stroke or a guided stroke on the stroke trainer and then a free stroke as well. Another feature to the stroke trainer putting ruler combination is to set your eyes over the ball correctly. So what you do is you take your stroke trainer, set it down, take your putting ruler with the hole on one end, hook it into the center bolt and set up the putting ruler directly on top. Then what you're gonna do is take your golf ball, set it underneath the ruler at the far end so that you can tell when your eyes are directly over the ball, right? So from this position here, that ruler is cutting that golf ball in half. If my eyes are back here, I can see underneath the ruler and I know my eyes are too far this way if I set my head over, I'm looking at the golf ball from that side, and I can tell my eyes are not over the ball. So I've got my putter set down. I can take the line on the back of the putter, put it square underneath the ruler, and then from here I can work on my stroke as well, back and forth. There's so many different ways that you can use the setup. You can turn it in this direction also. Setting the ball underneath the ruler, okay. right at the end obviously so you don't hit it. Set it right here and then work on your stroke back and forth. So that's just a quick little video on how I go through my setup, checking green speeds using the Sabre putting ruler and then using the Sabre stroke trainer in a few different ways to make sure that my stroke is trained on the lie angle that my putter is set at, and then also checking my eye line, as well as probably about 50 other ways you can use a combination of these two tools. So thanks for joining me here at Belfair. I'm gonna get back to regular practice so that I can prepare for tomorrow's first round.